Good to have you with us tonight at 11. At least 50 calls were made to 911 around the time of a bad motorcycle crash near the Marathon Refinery. The callers from the scene say they were getting a recording, so they kept hanging up and calling again. It was a crash that killed Michael Blackwell. Many of the witnesses say there was a lack of urgency, which included a police supervisor allegedly driving past the scene. Priya Mann is live with the newly released 911 calls from that night. Priya, good evening. And good evening, Kim. You know, friends were calling 911. Witnesses who stopped, even somebody from the Marathon Refinery who was watching everything unfold from his cameras. It took about two minutes before these callers could talk to dispatchers. Tonight, for the first time, we're hearing some of those frantic 911 calls. Oh, our friend who fell on the motorcycle and he's not breathing. Okay, he's listen, listen, dear, car. listen. What's the location? The Marathon, what? At the same time, another friend was also on the phone with dispatchers. A bike went down. It's a good friend of mine. He needs to get to somebody. Needs to get here. He's losing way too much blood. Both desperately trying to get first responders to the Marathon Refinery at Fort and Schaefer. We need an ambulance right now. Okay, I'm requesting for you. Listen no, to me. Listen. For a half hour. You have to stop hanging up when you're calling. Every time, you listen, every time, listen, every time, listen to me, man, I can't listen. In August, their friend, Michael Blackwell, was critically injured after losing control of his motorcycle. But I just pulled up to the scene, and they, no one, they couldn't get a hold of the police. They were all freaking out. I requested the EMS as I'm speaking to you. Don't hang up. I have some additional questions. Paramedics would get there within six minutes, but it took Detroit police 40 minutes to arrive. Is he the only vehicle that's involved? Just never mind, because there's actually an ambulance pulling up and you're keeping me on the phone talking about bull****. And more than a month after he died, there is still a memorial here for Michael Blackwell. Now, we did hear from Detroit police. They say this was a single vehicle crash that required medical attention, not an emergency response to criminal activity. But they did say there is still an ongoing internal investigation into that police supervisor who allegedly drove by the accident scene but never stopped. Reporting from Detroit, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Yeah, a lot of confusion, as you say, Priya, and a lot of questions to be answered. We appreciate it, Devin.